Build these ships and dig with you on ANS Weekly English News. The government of Myanmar said that four Rohingya villages were found dead in a conflict-torn area of the country's western Arkan state. The Office of the State Council Aung San Suu Kyi said in a press release that the bodies of three women and a man were found buried near Lupan Pin village in Mongdo area last Thursday, February 16. Police are investigating who these victims are. It said that adding that these three female bodies bore deep wounds while the man had no internal injuries. The bodies were found a day after the government announced the end of military operations in the area predominantly occupied by members of status Rohingya minority group. Myanmar have been under international criticism for its military crackdown on Rohingya civilians in northern part of Arkan state, which has been uh, under military lockdown since again killed nine police officers last October. Soldiers and police have been accused of committing various forms of abuses, including mass gang rapes, killing and brutal beatings and disappearance in area during the military operations since early October last year. A recent report commissioned by the UN Human Rights Chief Ray, uh, Zayed Raid Al Hussein stated that the rights violations against Rohingya civilians could be constitute a crimes against humanity. <music> Hayat Foundation carried out project to feed Rohingya displaced people in northern Mongol city of Arkan, a state in Myanmar. Hayat Foundation Director Abdul Aziz bin Mirda explained that the charity project was happened through a mobile kitchen to feed the Rohingya displaced people in northern Mongdu city, which targeted displaced families who have fled their villages and neighborhoods after being subjected to campaigns of violent security forces since last 9th October. In an exclusive statement to Arkan News Agency, ANA Bin Mirda reported that the project was launched on November 13th of last year, an initiative with quality of institution and unprecedented project management, and that the number of manufacturers reached more than 8,367 people till today. With in, which included children, men and women from 17 villages in northern Mongdo, Arkan state. The government in Myanmar has confirmed that the security forces have arrested nearly 600 people since last October during the campaign on Rohingya minority in Arkan state of Myanmar. The government spokesman Zote said all the detainees will receive a trail in code in accordance with the constitution, he said. According to the statement, among them, 51 were released while 8 died in the custody and one sentenced to death. According to the United Nations, over 69,000 Rohingya Muslims at least fled to Bangladesh after having swept through Myanmar army in Arkan state last October. The Muslims who have accused the Myanmar army of torture, murder, rape and looting living in mak uh, makeshift camps in Cox's Bazar on the border. The United Nations Special Rapporteur on Human Rights. Ms. Young Healy, during a meeting with the United Nations Human Rights Council in March to conduct an investigation into allegations that human rights group says it lives up to the level of crimes against humanity. <music> senior security officials in Myanmar said that the assassination of senior legal advisor to the government was a result of a personal political grudge, not a part of a larger military conspiracy. The officials of the police and the interior ministers said at the press conference that, that the security forces have arrested three people for shooting on January 29th. The lawyer Uko Ni and a further investigation is underway for the fourth perpetrator. Uko Ni is consulting the leader of Myanmar, Ms. Aung San Suu Kyi, on constitutional law, including how to wrest power from the army and put it in the hands of an elected civilian government which may have raised the suspicion on the army's involvement in his death. Deputy Minister of Internal Affairs General Cho Sui said that the murder that came at the hands of four individuals stemmed from personal motive and ultra-nationalism. <music> Myanmar government imposed an arbitrary system in the state of Arkan against Rohingya as they are being forced to accept temporary identity card considering them to be outsiders in the country illegally have applied to obtain citizenship. A correspondent of ANA said these cards are denoted as NBC, National Verification Card. The government uh, began to force them to acknowledge the progress uh, to apply for citizenship under nationalization. The correspondent added that the move is to take down the right of uh, citizenship and eligibility to nationality of Rohingya in the country. A Rohingya activist said that the move by the government is an attempt to preempt the United Nations resolution, which are scheduled for release in the next session stressing that the government has imposed arbitrary measures on Rohingyas to accept these cards by preventing people from moving between villages. 
except for the holders of these cards and try to lure them by giving them the right navigate to other cities and also force some of them to accept under threat and intimidation. The activists fear that this step may lead to fully consumption of Rohingya rights. Large number of Rohingya Muslims will receive these cards due to fear of repressal of government threats or in order to avoid arbitrary and regulation set by the government. The government in Myanmar has withdrawn that so-called white card two years ago from Rohingya Muslim part of a plan to expel them from the country on which they lived on for decades and cancelled their citizenship under the law of 1982. The government suggests that they were illegal immigrants from neighboring Bangladesh, while the United Nations consider them one of the most prosecuted minority in the world. And now to our international segment. Russia and China vetoed new UN sanctions on Syria Tuesday, and the US ambassador accused both countries of refusing to hold President Bashar Assad's regime accountable for the use of chemical weapons. They put their friends in the Assad regime ahead of their global security, New America envoy Nikki Haley told the UN Security Council after the vote. They turned away from defenseless men, women and children who died gasping from breath when Assad's foes drove their poisonous gases. The Trump administration recently joined France and Britain in sponsoring the resolution. The Haley means no word in denouncing the outrageous and indefensible choice that Russia and China made on Tuesday. President Donald Trump has warm words for Russian President Vladimir Putin while campaigning, but Haley has no, now criticized Russia over his annexation of uh, Ukraine's Crimea Peninsula as well as Russia. The defeated resolution was drafted following a joint investigation by the United Nations and the International Chemical Weapon Watchdog that determined the Syrian government was behind at least three attacks involving chlorine gas and Islamic State extremist group was responsible for at least one involving mustard gas. It is in Kuala Lumpur's Little India neighborhood behind an unmarked door on the second floor of a rundown building where a military equipment company called Glocom says it has its office. Glocom is an in front of company run by the North Korean intelligence agents that sells battlefield radio equipment in violation of United Nations sanctions according to a United Nations report submitted to the Security Council seen by the Reuters. Reuters found that the Glocom advertises over 30 radio systems for military and paramilitary organizations on its Malaysian website, glocom.com.my. Glocom's Malaysian website, which has taken down later last year, listed the Little India address in its contact section. No one answered the door there, and the mailbox outside is stiff with unopened letters. In fact, no company by that name exists in Malaysia. But two Malaysian companies controlled by the North Korean shareholders and directors registered Glocom website in 2009, according to website and company's registration documents. Thank you for watching this show today. Hope to see you very soon. Good morning.